A perfect arrow in a perfect world would be perfectly developed for each individual archer. So I'm George Tekmachev. I've been involved in archery uh, pretty actively since 1983. Um, I started working for Easton in 1991 as an engineer for Jim Easton in our Los Angeles facility. My job was AC archery product manager as well as development engineer. I wanted to create a product that would supersede what was then the top target arrow, the ACE. We had a group of engineers and researchers in Van Nuys dedicated to finding out exactly why arrows perform the way they do and what could be done to make them perform better. At that time, it was a trendy thing in the archery business to try to find a lighter and lighter solution. People thought that a lighter arrow would work better. And um, some of us had the opposite point of view. We adopted the philosophy that a heavier arrow might possibly be a better solution. Before the Barcelona Olympics, uh, I created just that, a heavier version of an ACE. So here we are at the 92 Olympic Games. We have a number of shooters who are shooting a heavier than normal arrow and they're performing very well in the windy conditions. So we knew at that point that the next step was going to be to have the, wa have the mass weight, but also reduce the diameter. We did a lot of R&D, we did a lot of research, we instrumented arrows and launched them, you know, and we shot, had many different shooters come in to shoot arrows to try to identify, are there commonalities, are there differences? So what we did was we actually developed a weaker tail spine that would absorb those differences more readily, acting a bit like a shock absorber. And that was kind of the key to making the X-10 work, was having that variable spine uh, weaker in the tail, stiffer in the middle, weaker in the front. That turned out in practical testing to have the highest scoring potential. The name that I wanted was ACEX because I wanted it to be an iteration on the well-known ACE arrow, aluminum carbon extreme. Well, wait a minute. We have a very successful target arrow called the X7, and this is the ACEX. How about we call it the X10? Quite frankly, I didn't like it. When he <laughs> X10, nobody's going to like that. I turned out to be quite wrong about that. Easton had a role in developing hydrogen collector tubing for the National Aerospace Plane Project, which was killed because of cost. But a lot of the technologies turned up in other places. And one of those happens to be the X10. The, the tubing that was developed for that actually became the core tube for the X10 arrow. Yeah, it's 25, 30 year old technology on a certain level, but no one has come up with something better so far. To make it better and to make it affordable, that's a toughie. Equipment is one part of the three axis foundation for the shot. You have the shooter, you have the bow, you have the arrow. You have to have harmony between those three things. I, I like to think the X10 makes it a little easier to find that harmony.